What's up guys, my name is Rob with Useless Hobby Limited and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to be exploring one of my favorite new games. Yeah, I know, 1997 was like 20 something years ago or whatever, <laughs> I'm, but trust me, I'm not being an old hand. Give me a second to explain and it'll make sense. October 1997, Sega releases a racing game for the arcade platforms played on their Manx TT Superbike conversion kit, running on Sega Model 2A. Unlike their other titles at the time, they did not move forward with putting it on home consoles, so we in the US would be sans motor raid for more than 20 years. I don't know what it is, but I have this weird urge to call it Moto Raid, even though it's very clearly Motor Raid. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know if there's something called Moto Raid at the time that I'm shooting this, so I, I have no idea where that's coming from. Motor Raid. It wasn't until 2018 when Sega released the Yakuza spin-off, Judgment, that Western audiences were first introduced to this super quirky futuristic racing bike game. Judgment has a lot of cool stuff to do. Between solving the case of a mysterious serial killer in the fictional district of Tokyo called Kamachuro, you also get to live there in the gum-covered shoes of former lawyer Detective Takayuki Yagami. From munching on cosmopolitan sushi, to playing darts, Yes, Yarika. To becoming three sheets to the wind. You also get to go to batting cages. Yes. Last but not least, you get to go to an arcade. Motor Raid is a combat-based racing game, so you are given a primary and secondary attack. Your primary attack is a weapon, either a spear or some sort of axe that you are able to swing around, and your secondary weapon is a quick kick. This kick is kind of just meant to keep enemies off your back. You are given a boost from 100 to 200 to 300%. Once you hit 300%, it turns into kind of you swing wildly for a few seconds and speeding past people. And if you hit them, they get immediately knocked off their bike. Hold down the primary attack button to throw your weapon. Now, if you don't have a weapon and you hold down the primary attack button, it's a very powerful attack. So you're always ready to take on whoever you need in order to get first place. Motorade has four playable characters. Robin, Io, Guns, my favorite, and Guy. Gaia. Guns is my favorite because he's the fastest. Io's pretty good too, he's well rounded. Gaia is pure attack, and then Robin's very good at taking those turns. Mortar Raid is obviously a Japanese game made in the 90s. Briefing. The final stage. Get ready. There's a certain tongue in cheek feel that fits nice and snug with a lot of anime content millennials grew up with. It also has a nice cyberpunk kind of aesthetic that I think is also very familiar to a lot of us. The characters are severely limited by the arcade technology and only say a few phrases each, but they're delivered with such a gleefully disconnected inconsistency. It's hard to tell if it's the 90s silliness, a bad translation, or both, but it's all 100% charm. It really draws me to this game. I'll show you who's number one. I'm no match for anyone. Nobody can stop me. Choose one. Get ready. So I bet you all are wondering, am I any good at Motor Raid? And the answer is yes, but I am by no means the best. 
So the game works, you can either play championship mode or practice. And when you play championship mode, you are taken through three different levels and depending on how you do, you're taken to either kind of a more advanced level or an easier one. The game is kind of a little bit ahead of its time um, in that aspect. But I think that um, I'm kind of like right in the middle to higher middle one. Whereas I can do first place on the first level, Yendas, no problem. And then after that, it takes you to Yunos, which is the snow level. And at best, I can get second place there which then ultimately takes me to Reef 8, which, where at Reef 8, I can get first place almost immediately as well. However, I am told that if you get first place on Yunos, it takes you to the lava level Bowel. And if you get first place there, then you actually unlock a secret level called Segal, which is supposed to be a play on the word Sega. They even have a Sonic the Hedgehog there. Now, I have never made it to uh, Boel, much less Segal. So uh, if you guys have experienced that, I'd love to hear about it in the comments section. But as for me, um, I have played both levels. Uh, I've played Segal and um, you actually get to enter a cheat code um, for Segal and uh, Boel, you just select it in the practice section. Um, and I, I played both those. gotten destroyed. I don't know if I've, I, I finished Boel races before in like fourth or fifth place, but like, it's hard, man. This game is, this game is not for the faint or weary, let me tell you, but um, it's still a ton of fun. I would love a remake of this game. And it seems like it's a little weird and it was only one arcade game made one time. It's not a super big franchise, but I think it's kind of this sweet spot of, it's got this huge anime feel to it. There's a certain goofiness and the fact that it's a racing game on motorbikes means that I don't think people understand the amount of cosplay that can be done, art, the fact that you get to fight and things like that. Like, how, what do these people do in their time off? Is, is it a crazy anarchistic world or is it like a utopia where they blow off steam with this? I mean, there's a lot of different avenues that Sega could go with this. And they've got four really like weird characters that I would, I would love to play as in 4K, 6K, whatever the next generation consoles have to offer. Hopefully Sega sees this video and uh, they totally hear the call to action and they make this for the upcoming PlayStation 5. What do you guys think? Would you guys like to see a remake of Motor Raid? Do you guys want to have a remake of another game? Is there another long lost game that you hold dear to your hearts that haven't been really shown that much love? I know for me, um, there's still a huge community for it, but they never made Mega Man Legends 3, and I'm still, I'm, I'm st I mean, if they ever announced that, I, I, I can't tell you how over the moon I would be. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to spark a discussion. I'd love to talk to you guys, and hope you guys have a lovely day, and see you next Thursday.